Hey guys, this is So You Ready For Today's August 25th, 2027, 50 a.m. Central Time. So I've got about 45 minutes left of the RNC, and somebody asked me a question uh, that I'm going to address in this video, but I'm doing this video because I feel the need to say something and or talk, and James is not home, and everyone's asleep still. So, lucky you. Um, I don't know. This... Politically, what's going on with the Democrat Party in general that is currently in office, we're not talking about the people that could possibly be in office that could make things severely worse. I don't know who these people are. I don't, meaning, I don't know where their brains have morphed. I don't, even the people that have been indoctrinated in the, <coughs> excuse me, the school systems, uh, by liberal teachers and have embedded these viruses in their brains. I'm not sure how they're not more aware of the fact that that has happened to them, too, but whatever. The stuff that's happening on the streets, since I'm very concerned about our country, very concerned, but the stuff that's happening in our streets, right? Being a Marine, I'm a hard ass. I am aware of that. And I have walls up that are higher than the walls on the border, okay? So when something upsets me, it's pretty severe. Something has to be really going on. Like when my dogs, okay, and I got really upset about my dogs. That was traumatic for me, okay? So, but that's about it, right? Um, the other day, I was watching, I think, Fox. And I don't remember the person who went around and did this. But the stuff that's going on in the streets, right? You see it live. And you're like, holy shit. Like, that's completely unnecessary. And they're blowing, you know, they're burning stuff. They're looting stuff. They're throwing shit at cops. And you're kind of disconnected. At least for me, you're kind of disconnected from it. Because it's not happening outside your house. You're just seeing something. And you're like, holy shit. That is happening here in the U.S. But the difference is... There aren't too many stations that are showing the aftermath, okay? They're just showing what's happening at the time. And whoever I was watching the other day was walking through Minneapolis, where all this shit started, or began. I shouldn't even say started. Started a few years back. And she's, she spoke to a few people, but... When I, was in, when I was overseas, okay, I was in the front line. I didn't destroy too many people, if you will. I was not shooting. I was not in a tank. I, was, I wasn't any of that stuff, okay? I was not infantry. I was not any of that. So, whatever. But what I did see a lot of was the aftermath. And I don't mean necessarily just dead bodies. I'm, I'm talking about the aftermath of what was left from all of the fighting. The destruction that was left. And when I saw that interview, it was like, whoosh, right back to some of these scenes I'd seen. And I was like, oh my God, that is in the United States of America and it, my heart dropped, and I got super anxious, and I got concerned. Because if that shit continues around this country where people are losing their goddamn minds and burning stuff down unnecessary, unnecessarily and looting stuff and think they're owed something they're not and all this shit... Because these people have viruses in their head that I do not know where they came from to this degree and why they're sticking there. And I'm not sure there's a fucking vaccine or a cure for it. I'm really concerned. because, And the other concern I have is if, you know, I, I, I am truly concerned that if I, because I'm, I'm near St. Louis. I shouldn't say near, but I'm, I'm within a distance of St. Louis and I have to go there occasionally. And I carry, right? I carry all the time. Doesn't matter where I go. Carry all the time. I've become literally concerned, more so now than ever, that 
I will end up having to defend myself with my firearm. And because I'm white, doesn't matter that I'm female, I might, might be able to play the female card a little bit. If I'm a, I, I am attacked or surrounded or whatever by Black Lives Matter saying some ridiculous shit to me, and I truly have to defend myself because I am severely threatened whatever they're doing, and I have to use my firearm, I'm going to be the one that is the villain. I'm the one that's going to have problems legal, legally, you know, going to court, fighting things, trying to prove something, rather than be the one who was being on the defense. All of a sudden, those people are victims, and I'm not. And that goes through my head quite a bit. And being overseas, if something like that happened, it was just like, boom, you know, whatever. There's no laws over there, <laughs> you know. And they're not going to be able to get up and talk to anybody. So, but here, obviously, it's different. So unless I take out everyone in the area <laughs> and make sure they are down, <laughs> I'm going to probably have some issues in my life. And that's really frightening that we have gotten to that point in this country that I am concerned I am going to walk into some Black Lives Matter area and be uh, confronted because I am white, okay, and then possibly attacked and I have to kill someone. And I don't appreciate where this country is going. And I do not think that electing Trump is going to affect any of that. In, case, in fact, it may even get a little worse. And if Biden gets in, it's going to stay the same for sure. For sure, it ain't going to go away at all. If anyone thinks this shit's going to go away if Biden gets in office, you are sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. This has nothing to do with politics, what's going on right now, no matter how ignorant people seem to think. And this, I think, will escalate even further if Biden gets in office because they are not addressing it. And they are basically on the side of these people. So they're going to feel even more emboldened with people that agree with them in the White House. And who knows what the White House would enact to allow them to continue to do what they're doing. Who knows? So I'm not afraid. So don't get me wrong. I'm not afraid of these people by any means. I'm not afraid of anybody. You fucking bother me. I will fucking kill you with my fists. I don't need a firearm to do it. I will flip on you. There's a reason I was I got the nickname Wolverine, okay? So, I'm not concerned about doing any of that. I'm concerned legally what will end up happening to me because of what's going on. I will no longer be the victim. I will be the villain, and I do not like that. And I did not like that interview that I saw, seeing that rubble that was left. And it really bugged me, and it's been bugging me for like a fucking week. And watching the RNC, I, there is nothing new to me, nothing new to me that I didn't know about policy-wise. I knew everything that they've been talking about, period, even the small stuff. And it makes me so sick that there's probably tons of people out there that didn't even know some of this shit existed because the mainstream media is on the side of the retards walking the streets and want to kill and destroy Trump as much and as fast as they possibly can. So they don't report the positive things that have been going on. They don't report the things that have really helped people, even minorities, to a huge degree, more so than any Democrat in the last several decades has done, even Republicans, okay? Trump has done some seriously cool shit, and none of it's being reported. And I try and report on this... Uh, as much as I possibly c can on it. Most of it's on my Patreon account, okay? But beside the point, where this country is going is disturbing me to my core. I did not join the military to come home to see shit that I saw overseas. I did not come home to defend the First Amendment's rights these retards are abusing, okay, and getting away with, okay, it's irritating and it's frustrating. And being a patriot 
is mate is is the worst thing you can possibly be in this country right now and it's disturbing absolutely disturbing anyway since you can't speak back to me i'm gonna end this video <laughs> this is are you ready for oh wait oh wait oh wait the person who asked me a question they dems don't seem to be trying is it incompetence or do they have a plan to cheat do you think they have something up their sleeve i'd really like to know your perspective on this thank you for the video stay safe okay as far as cheating the mail-in ballots are severely a way to cheat okay but regardless of how that turns out and the usps is just a front for whining I think they're concerned that their mail-in ballot <laughs> might actually backfire on them. <laughs> so they're creating this USPS controversy, right? But when, when Biden has 600 lawyers on standby and thousands of volunteers in each state, okay, to count ballots, that's kind of um, sketchy, for one. But two, to have all those lawyers on standby, he is going to contest everything. And you know it. Not just because he has the lawyers, but you know it. The Democrats cannot get over the fact Hillary didn't win. Hillary definitely can't get over the fact she lost. And she probably wishes that she was running this, this election see uh you know this year because she knows what she could do legally and and all this other bullshit this go round so they're prepping biden okay so as far as plan to cheat i think they're trying to they're gonna try and cheat through the courts more than anything and there's gonna be a lot of areas where they recount ballots and something is off so shit will get thrown out and who knows who that will benefit and or it will be so bad that almost people have to re-vote, you know? That's how they're going to cheat if they cheat. And that's what they're, all those lawyers are what's up their sleeve, okay? This is going to be the most bullshit election we have ever had. It is going to be so in the history books and not in a good way, Okay? This pandemic was the worst thing that could happen to this country. And I don't mean because people died or have a virus or sick. I mean, it is going to destroy our fucking country. And the one, the one that we had last year, where things were completely different, not just economically and everything else, and you could be patriotic to a degree because everybody is still whining, it is destroying us to the core and if and it's going to it's altering constitutionally as far as i'm i'm concerned our election and our election is not going to go by the constitution by any means this is going to be so fucked up this chink virus okay that has plagued our country is going to destroy it and it has nothing like i said nothing to do with it existing regarding deaths it's going to destroy our democracy that's what it's going to destroy that's how they plan to cheat if they do that's what's up their sleeve regardless this is are you ready for it take care guys have a great day